Over more than a hundred years, the telecommunications industry has really helped to shape the modern world, building the world's largest machine so that people can talk to each other from virtually anywhere on the planet, and eventually becoming the underpinnings of the internet age. But over the last several decades, they've really focused on how to go smaller and faster, and they've somehow managed to lose sight of the audio experience. In particular, the experience you get, even with expensive business communications today, isn't really very different from the experience you would have had with a rotary dial phone 50 years ago. We often use the same devices for entertainment and communications, and we have very high expectations that the audio experience from the entertainment services will be very high. Then we come to use the same devices for business calls and we find that the experience does not compare well to the entertainment environment. So to understand what's not working well with business conferencing, first we ought to consider a natural meeting with a normal audio scene. Consider yourself in a meeting with a number of your colleagues. You have perfect audio fidelity and it's easy to tell who's speaking and who's waiting to speak because we make little noises, little affirmation noises and you can tell who's talking because they're coming from a particular direction which forms a very natural audio scene. And of course the reason that you can have all these natural cues is because you have a very powerful processor, the human brain, which is fed by two ears. Even in a very busy room you can tune in and hear the particular conversation that you want to pick out. This is often called the cocktail party effect. Contrast that with a conventional audio conference where the voices are presented to you with much lower fidelity, all of the different talkers and the different sounds are mixed up, often with startlingly different levels and squirted into just one of your ears. And now you're working really hard to try and pick out the information you need to tell who's talking and to get your point across. So it's no wonder that by the end of an hour's call, you're either fatigued or disengaged from the meeting. So we're now introducing Dolby Voice technology, which for the first time reintroduces all of those natural audio cues to create a natural audio scene to give us much less fatiguing meetings. We've joined forces with BT, a leading global provider of collaboration services, to develop BT Meet Me with Dolby Voice. This is a revolution in audio conferencing that delivers an experience with high quality sound and voice separation into an audio scene. The result is meetings that are more natural and effective than audio conferences have ever been before. From a user perspective, you'll easily be able to join BT Meet Me with Dolby Voice from PCs, Macs and mobile devices. You don't need a special headset to join, any stereo headset will do. And of course, we haven't built an island, so we interoperate with the rest of the telecommunications industry. Transforming the communications industry is a very ambitious goal, but Dolby has history of transforming industries. For example, pioneering digital surround sound for the movie industry and ending up being licensed into almost five billion devices. It's the perfect moment for Dolby to do this again, using our unique technology to pull communications up to a whole new level of experience. We're looking forward to a point in the future where all audio communications is as good as being there.